This is my third attempt at filming Five Fact Friday for today. So here goes. <laughs> Five facts that have happened in the housing market this week that affect the market. Number one, the number of new home purchase mortgage approvals was 52,000, which was up from 44,000 the month before. So people are going, whoa, that's a big jump. Uh, actually, the real non-seasonally adjusted number is even higher, 62,000. Um, but the official figure is 52,000. Um, but that's still way below the uh, long-term average for March, which is more like 75,000. So we're a long way down off averages. That's fact number one. Number two, nationwide house price index came out this week and said house prices actually went up half a percent. After seven consecutive monthly declines, the nationwide average house price went up half a percent in March. Number three, both the Fed in America and the European Central Bank in Europe raised their central bank base rate by 0.25%, which would suggest that the Bank of England will be forced to do the same next week. Um, but that's up to you. You may not think so. Uh, number four. I love this. This is special. This is my favourite fact of the week because it's not actually a fact. The average deposit for a first time buyer is going up to £9,000. <laughs> Keir Starmer is actually trying to make us think he's a credible politician when he thinks that the average deposit has gone up to £9,000, right? I did, there's a fact-checking website and the actual truth of it is, according to this website, £44,000 according to the English Housing Survey, okay? So the fact is that Keir Starmer's fact was wrong. It's been debunked by a fact-checking website. Not just slightly wrong either. Nine grand versus 44 grand. Come on, Keir. You can do better than that, right? Uh, and the fifth fact of the week is the Zoopla house price units came out this week. And for those of you who understand that supply and demand affects prices, right? When supply goes up, prices go down. When demand goes down, prices go down. Guess what's happened? Uh, in the four weeks to the 23rd of April, compared to the same period last year, supply is up 66%. Supply is up a whopping two thirds. And demand is down 42%. 42% down demand, 66% increase in supply of new houses for sale. Uh, not, not new, just houses for sale. Massive movement. Now, what does that tell you is going to happen to prices? That is a leading indicator of what's going to happen to prices. So there are your five facts, guys, right? Uh, mortgage approvals up, but down on long-term numbers. Nationwide house prices uh, up half a percent after seven months of decline. European and American central banks have raised interest rates again. Keir Starmer is a muppet. And Zoopla says supply has gone up and demand has gone down. Hope that's helpful. Have a great weekend. I will, be, I will actually be unpicking these and doing some analysis of these and explaining why nothing here changes my mind about why house prices are about to see much, much bigger falls in the second half of this year. I'll be doing a live stream tonight on YouTube. Check it out. Uh, it's basically an extended Five Fact Friday uh, on YouTube this evening. See you tonight, guys. Have a good one. Bye.